Hey guys, welcome to Jazz Tutorials. Today I'll be showing you the cool bubble text style effect. This is yet another style you'll, you'll be able to add to your style section above your colors and stuff. Okay, well anyway, so open a canvas of large size, or any size really, it doesn't matter. And you're gonna add and you're gonna add a dark color for the background. Um, I chose this color here. Uh, yep, you can feel free to use it if you want, but really any dark color will be fine. Any dark blue color is gonna work. So. Once you have your color chosen, you're going to make it as a background color. So do a control alt backspace or control. Yeah, or just change the background color. Anyway. Okay, <laughs> so um, once you have your background as dark color you want, uh, just go over here and select the T tool, which is the type tool. And you're going to go up and select a font, um, a special font I have for you. Um, I'll show you the font in a second. Yeah, it's this font right here, it's called Bubble Club. Um, I'll find that down below in whatever you call it, the description or whatever. Yeah, well anyway. Um, and then type whatever text you want. Um, and you can make it large, small, whatever you want, however big your canvas is, so yeah. Make sure your uh, text is white, by the way, just because it will make it look the effect make it look more awesome. Okay, once you have that, um, change it to darken. Um, it will then disappear, but it'll reappear eventually, I promise. <laughs> Double click on the text layer, and you're going to add a drop shadow, and many other awesome effects. <laughs> so, we'll start with drop shadow. Um, just type in these numbers here that I'm showing you. Um, okay, so we're good there. So now we're going to go and add a, um, in a glue. So you're going to change the color of that to that color there. Yep, and then you're going to change it to overlay. And then you're going to type in these fine numbers here. Yeah. Okay, we're good there. Now we're going to add an inner glow. Change it to white again. And type in the numbers. Or no, change it to overlay. And then type in the numbers, yeah. Okay, we're good there. So now we're going to go and add a bevel and a boss. And yet again, type in my numbers I'm showing you for the size and the soften. And I don't know why I didn't know. Anyway. And you're going to change it to overlay for the highlight mode. And then change the opacities. Opacity for the shadow mode should be zero. Yeah. And then you're going to add satin, change it to white, and then go to overlay for satin as well. And then you're just going to type in some numbers here, like we have done in the previous ones. Okay, we're good there. Then you're going to go and add a granite overlay. Granite overlay. You're going to select the white transparent, which is there. Yep. And you're going to reverse that so the white comes first, and the white goes last, like that. There you go. Change it to overlay. <laughs> and type in the numbers for the opacity, angle, and you're good there. Okay. That's pretty much all we gotta do for now. Now you can go and click on new style, and then we'll add it, and then when you click on that, a box will reappear, and you can type in the name you want. Ch I ch name my bubble, but whatever you want to name your style is fine. And once you click OK, it should be in the Layers Style section in your Color Swatch thing. When you click on your Color Swatch, you'll see the word Styles. And when you click in there, it should be down below. And then you'll have it forever. It'll be there forever! And that's basically all there is to it. Um, you can add other cool stuff to it. You can, um, I have bubble, um, I have a bubble uh, brush. Um, so I'm going to add some cool little bubbles around it to surround it. Make it awesome! Um, so for that, I just added a new layer below the text, um, layer one, and then I went up here to my bubble text, my text, uh, my bubble brush, and, um, yeah, bubble brush is right there, that one there, and I just scattered it, um, it's a scatter brush, so it scatters random ones, and whatever, so I just did it like this, scattered around the bottom, and that's what I did, and make sure that when you do, and I'll provide that in the description too, in case you want it, um, and when you're doing your bubbles, make sure the color is white. Um, when you're using the bubble brush, it has to be white for the bubbles actually show. So there you go. 
Alright, well thanks for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you later.